good evening. And welcome to St. Bethlehem United Methodist Church here on this Good Friday as we will remember the death of our Savior, Jesus Christ. You should have received a baggie with a mirror and an index card in it. We will be using that later on in the service. And so if you did not grab one for some reason, um, please do so uh, during our opening hymn or whenever it's convenient for you, but we will be using that later on in the service. I invite you now to join me in our call to worship. Let us remember. 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 Let us worship, holy God. I invite you now to stand as you are able as we sing together hymn number 298, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. Jesus, Son of the Father, conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, eternal Word of God, we worship you. O crucified Jesus, holy temple of God, dwelling place of the Most High, gate of heaven, burning flame of love. O oh, crucified Jesus, ruler of every heart, in you are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. In you dwells all the fullness of the Godhead. Jesus, Lamb of God. Jesus, Bearer of our sins. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world. Grant us peace. Almighty God, 
Look with mercy on your family for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and to be given over to the hands of sinners and to suffer death on the cross. Who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. You may remain seated as we sing together, Let All Mortal Flesh Keep Silent, in number 626. <laughs> God who asked for a drink, God who was killed by the state, God who offered love and grace even from the cross, we are at a loss for words. What do we do with this day? The air is heavy. Our hearts are heavy. The suffering of this world feels particularly close, spilling out all over us. And yet, even in this space, we know you are moving. Even in this space, we know that this is not the end. Give us the heart to hear this story and the courage to let it change us. Gratefully, we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading tonight comes from the Gospel of Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. 
Pilate then called together the chief priests and the rulers and the people and said to them, You brought me this man as one who was perverting the people. And after examining him before you, behold, I did not find this man guilty of your charges against him. I will therefore chastise him and release him. And all went to be in Rome to their own cities. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be in Rome with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. But they were urgent, demanding with loud cries that he should be crucified, and their voices prevailed. So Pilate gave sentence that their demand should be granted. He released Barabbas, the man who had been thrown in prison for insurrection and murder, who they asked for. But Jesus, he delivered up to their will. And while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. And when they came to the place which is called the Skull, there they crucified him and two criminals, one on the right and one on the left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths. And they cast lots to divide, to divide his garments and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And in that region there were shepherds out in the fields keeping watch over their flock by night. And the people stood by watching. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy which shall be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. But the rulers scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Christ of God, his chosen one. And this will be a sign for you. While the sun's light failed, the curtain of the temple was torn in two, and Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling cloth. Then Joseph of Arimathea took down the body of Jesus and wrapped it in a linen shroud and lying in a manger and laid him in a rock hewn. You may remain seated as we sing together hymn number 288, Were You There?
Wednesday, we were invited to enter into this season of Lent with all that we are, bringing our entire selves before God, as the prophet Joel said, with all our heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. We have been invited to remove the things that prevent us from bringing ourselves fully before God. During this time of personal repentance and reflection, you are invited to look into the mirror and notice any changes you have experienced during this season of Lent. Are there still things that need to change? How can you continue to live more fully in who God has created you to be? Where do you see Christ reflected in yourself? For what do you need repentance and forgiveness? After you have taken a few moments of reflection, you are invited to write your statement of repentance Write your observations on the index card and then bring it to the altar. You're invited to kneel and pray as long as you feel led. If you would like for me to pray with you, I am always here. After everyone has returned to their seats, I will offer a short prayer and then as our benediction, we will pray together the Lord's Prayer. After we have finished praying, please depart from the sanctuary in silence.
even from his place on the cross, even while being met with cruelty and violence, Jesus overflows with truth and grace. He sees those around him. He speaks connection and belonging into existence. He offers forgiveness. Friends, if this is true of the cross, it is certainly true here. We are surrounded by grace. We are held in love. We are forgiven over and over again. That truth never changes. Thanks be to God. And now, as beloved children of God, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our faith and bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Go in peace.